ओ मज्ञानम तिमीरांडा ज्ञानांजला शलाकया चक्षुर उन्मीलिता ये ना तस्म श्री गुरव नम श्री चैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापित ये न भूतले स्वयं रूप गदात्मा दधाति स्वापदिक हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीनबंधु जगतपते गोपेश गोपी का कांत राधा कांत नमस्तुते ताप्त कांचना गौरंगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी विषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वंचकूभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गराधा शिवास हरे गौरभक्तविंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सो हरे कृष्ण एवरी वन प्लीज एक्सेप्ट माई हम बलो बी सेंसेस ओ ग्लोरीज टू शिला प्रोपाद ओ ग्लोरीज टू आवर स्पिरिचुअल मैंटर्स एंड ओ ग्लोरीज टू ऑल द डिवर्टीज So my name is Heman, and um, I am representing the Dwarka sector. And uh, today I have been asked to speak about arti that we perform in all our Iskon temple worldwide. So first of all, let let us try to understand the meaning of arti. So what is an arti? So arti is an offering of respect. welcoming or worshiping an exalted person so since the the uh, the most appropriate um uh, person is none other than the supreme lord himself krishna himself it is most appropriate to offer arti to him arti is also one aspect of deity worships so during arti auspicious items are offered to the deities while we ring the bell the articles used in arti represent the material elements in their pure form and correspond to the sense objects in another word arti articles are satisfying to all the senses and also represent our offering of all elements in the lord's creation back to the lord for his satisfaction and i remember when i was um uh you know um, very young we used to sing um, a song you know tera tujiko arpan means you know whatever is yours whatever whatever has been given by you um or we are offering back to you so O oh Lord, please accept it. So this is what it is here. So let us let us see what we offer during RT or for RT, and why we offer them, and what do they represent. It's very important to know this because uh, most of the time we do RT, we offer items or paraphernalia, but we don't know uh, why we are offering and what what's. what's the meaning what is um, the deeper meaning of all of these item or paraphernalia so uh, we're going to um, uh, to see now um so the first um element or oh, sorry the first paraphernalia uh, we offer is incense or dhoop you know incense sticks so it is offered to scent the lord's clothes hmm? or clovers and it represent the element earth um this is what it is so um f we have five elements yeah and one of them is earth so the dhup represent um earth okay the, the second item that uh we we um we offer is um um ghee lamp or uh you know uh, as we know uh, we offer um lamp to the lord so it is offered to reveal the form of the deities and the lamp represent fire the third item that uh, we offer after um ghee lamp is water 
which is served in a conch shell. Mm. Obviously, the conch shell is uh, different from the one that we blow. Mm. Uh, uh, it is good to make note of, of that as well. So, so the water is offered as if to bathe the, the deities and water represent the water element. The fourth item or the fourth paraphernalia um, that is used is handkerchief. So it is offered to dry the deities after we had bathed him with the water. Okay. The fifth element um, or the fifth, sorry, the fifth item um, to be used is a flower. Okay. So flower is offered as a sign of submission and it represents earth which is the source of all fragrance the next item that we um, we offer the lord uh, as part of the arti is chamra okay or whisk it is considered um, to be a royal insignia it adds flair to the ceremony and it represents the air element the next item is is offered only in uh, only during summertime, and it is the peacock fan. Okay, so this is very cooling to the deities when you're finding uh, um, him or finding the deities um, with the uh, peacock fan. So peacock fan represent again uh, air elements. So same as a chamra, hmm? but again. Uh, just to re-emphasize, we only offer um, peacock uh, fan, or we fan the Lord uh, with a peacock fan, only during summertime. So, um, Pujaris will always uh, blow the conch uh, before and after doing arti. So, the conch represents the element ether. So, ether is uh, space. So, this is the uh, paraphernalia that we uh, we offer to the Lord during our time. So, that was a brief description of all the paraphernalia offered during Arti in our Iskon temple. So now, let us see the different types of Arti that we perform and at what time we perform. We, uh, we perform those arti in our temple and these are done daily okay so the the, the first one that we uh, normally perform is the mangal arti which starts at 4:30 in the morning 4:30 a.m so it definitely starts at 4:30 sharp okay it is considered to be the most auspicious and blissful ceremony for all participants. What will happen is the pujari will blow the conch and the deity curtains are opened. But prior for the, for the curtain to be opened, the pujari had already awakened um, the deities, had offered uh, bhoga um, to them. Okay. And... Um, you know what will be offered will be sweet um, milk and some really nice uh, you know preparation um, that the Lord will uh, partake uh, in the mor in the in, in the morning. The the transcendental sound of the conch, which is a shank, is blown to signal the awakening of the deities, who will still be uh, in their night clothes but without garland and uh, their jewelries. So while the puj Pujari uh, is performing, the Mangalarti devotees will be paying their obeisances and start singing Kirtan, which involves a, uh, a set number of uh, songs uh, for the program. So they will normally sing the Guru Ashtakam, okay, which glorifies the Guru and, and on how he engages his disciples in the process of bhakti or bhakti yoga. So after that, the Narsinga Pranam is 
sang. Okay, so the RT signifies the devotee's surrender unto the Lord uh, Narsinga Dev and even glorifies Lord Narsinga Dev for his pastime of killing the demon Hiranyakashipu. Lord Narsinga Dev removes all the obstacles from the path of bhakti. Okay, so this is our first arti that we uh, perform, or uh, at least, um, you know, um, the song also that we... So, the next arti, which take place at 5 o'clock, will, uh, 5 a.m. I would say, is the Tulsi arti. So, Tulsi arti uh, um, is very auspicious as well. Uh, so, let's, let's learn a bit about... Uh, Shumati Tulsi Maharani. So Tulsi is the most sacred uh, among all plant and is also the known favorite of Lord Krishna. Worshipping Tulsi Maharani is beneficial as she rewards bhakti to the devotees. So one pujari will be offering arti with incense, lamp and flowers on behalf of all the devotees that are present and then everyone will take turns and offer a little bit of water to Tulsi Mahani and um, in her roots and take a blessing so this is Tulsi Puja um, so then we will move on to the next arti which happens at 7 o'clock 7 a.m. in the morning uh, it is called uh, Darshanarti. So, during Darshanarti, um, uh, you, you know, um, before Darshanarti, sorry, I would, I should uh, mention that. So, before Darshanarti, the pujaris will get the deities uh, ready by dressing them nicely, um, garland uh, them, um, give them um, all the jewelries, the ornaments and uh, they will perform other worships that are done privately uh, and then um, the curtain will open when the conch um, blows and then the deities will give darshan to all the devotees and um, the devotees will be offering their prayers and worship um, so the pujari will offer again arti um, so lamp, incense, chamara and uh, peacock uh, fan uh, if it's um, uh, summertime okay uh, and it's definitely a blissful sight uh, it is definitely full of devotion and we sing the prayers from Brahma Samhita Govinda Madi Purusham Tamaham Bajami um, if you have heard that it's a really really um, nice and uh, um, you know I can't describe it it's so beautiful uh, to the ears and it's also very uh, it's glorifying um, the Lord so that takes place at um, uh, 7 uh, 7 o'clock in, in, uh, in the morning so right after uh, Darshan Arti we sing the Guru Puja which is another uh, you know prayer that uh, we uh, we do so so in this uh, session um, or Guru Puja so um, all our devotees we will greet Srila Prabhupada and we express our gratitude and beg him for his mercy without uh, yeah so we beg him for his mercy um, without whose blessing we can't reach the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Hmm? So uh, we sing uh, we sing this uh, Guru Puja prayers hmm? uh, um, uh, to him. Okay, so during Guru Puja um, the devotees will sing and offer uh, flower petals to the lotus feet of Srila Prabhupada. Okay. So um the next uh, set of program will be uh, 
Srimad Bhagavatam classes where uh, a spiritual um, uh, uh, teacher or you know one of the devotees uh, will be sitting and giving class so either will be doing Srimad Bhagavatam class or will uh, read from Sri Chaitanya Charita Amrit okay and um, after the class um, devotees have a chance to ask questions so do question and answers and then right after that uh, around um, uh, 9 or 9 15 then uh, breakfast will be served for everyone in the temple so that will end the morning um, uh, morning artists